good evening students hopefully you would have watched the video regarding the chapter 4 which is about force so i am here to give uh, in a in a very short in a short video to brief to give out the points about it not in a jiffy okay so first one we will learn what is a force force is called as the push or pull it is an external factor and it results in interaction okay i'll just underline the important points which you have to learn okay so the push or pull is known as force and this force results in an interaction and it is an external agent which act whenever a body moves so what do you mean by force whenever you push or pull something you term that to be as your force so here they have given uh, four examples okay so one man is like blocking the another one is pushing a car and here they are pulling the rope okay so all these are the examples of your force how do you understand a force as a push and a pull the next one is effects of force what happens whenever i apply a force to an object so that is termed as your effects of force what happens to the object is termed we will we will see them in a heading which is called as the effects of force again you have a video on this so first one is force cannot change the mass of an object the one which is given in your bold letters imagine a person who is of 50 kg he is running and a boy or or, or some another person he tries to pull him or push him down so what happens he will fall down but there is no change in his weight okay the mass will never change so whenever a force is applied there is no change in the mass force can change the speed of a moving object obviously yes or no the same example you are running someone has pushed you down now what will happen you will stop running and eventually you will fall down therefore in that case the speed your speed has been changed so you can also change the speed of your moving object next one force can change the state of motion so the same example you are move, first you are running when after pushing you down what happens to you you came to a halt you just stopped after running so which means the motion the state of motion can be changed what are the states of motion we have studied i think in in your second or third lesson of study rest and motion rest means you are in a static position motion you are moving so force can make an object to come to a halt or it can also make an object to move so force can change the state of motion if you are riding in a bicycle if you apply a brake what will happen to the cycle it will come to a halt so this force actually helps me to stop it so that is an example next one here you have a condition so however it is not necessary the force always change the state of rest into motion so it's a special uh, it's something so special here in this case a man is trying to push a wall is it possible for us to do it we cannot so that is a special case over here so always your force cannot change the state of rest your force cannot change the state of rest next one so now we saw a force can make an object which is under rest to move and the opposite of it the force can stop an object which is already in motion so that is the next point the force can stop a moving object a cricket ball is stopped by a player by applying a force in the direction opposite to the direction of the motion of the ball so we all do this the next one force can change the direction of a moving object so here you can see an uh, an example where you kick a football and whichever direction you kick in that direction it changes so i can change my direction force can change the shape and size of the object best example you are playing with your 
slime or you are you will be playing with your clay you make different shapes by apply, uh, applying different kinds of forces so impressions if you are playing with a clay if you want to make small impressions you will have a, a minimum force if you want to mold into a ball you, you apply different kinds of forces to it uh, and you can also see how your mothers are making the chapati rolls all these so all these are the examples of force can change the shape and size of the object you just take an object drop it down the object breaks so here it means the shape and the size of the object has been changed why i dropped it down because of an external force which i have applied so all these are the factors of the force the effects of the force on a particular body so the only thing which it cannot do is force cannot change the mass of a body the force cannot change the mass of the body instead it can change its direction it can change its state of motion it can change the shape and size of an object so so far we have read about what is a force and what is its characteristics that is the effects so on basis of that we will try to analyze what are the types of forces so types of forces you have two varieties one is contact force the another one is non contact force contact what do you mean by contact you have to touch something that is a, you have to have a physical touch so whenever two objects are in touch and there is some interaction between them that you term as your contact force and if there is no touch between them but there is also an interaction there is no connection between them but there is an interaction between them it is termed as your non contact force so a force applied to an object by another that is not direct contact with it is called as a contact force best example magnetic force you just bring two bar magnets nearer to you you will not even if you are not bringing it closer to one another you will feel it is attracting you just take a magnet to a piece of iron it will eventually attract so that attraction okay it's like pulling it so attraction is nothing but pull yes or no so it's like pulling it towards it so that is an example of a non contact force apart from this you will have two other forces elect gravitational force and electrostatic forces gravitational and electrostatic forces so gravitational magnetic electrostatic or the examples of non contact gravitational whenever you take an object and you leave it the object instead of floating it will fall down that is gravitational electrostatic means uh, forces which arise because of your charges static charges it's called as your electrostatic force next one contact force as i told you the force applied to an object by another object that is in direct contact with one another they are they have to touch one another surface the surface has to be touched so in that case we call as your contact force contact force is because of a point of contact and the examples are muscular force and force of friction are the example okay muscular force and the force of friction so in our next video we will detailly look into your force of friction until this you just go through all these points and have a clear picture about it thank you